The federal government on Wednesday has said that it has developed a, a mobile application that is called Mobilizer, which Nigerian youths and majority of the grassroots populace can download on their phones to report crimes and criminalities in real time, wherever they are located. The application will assist security agencies comprising the Nigerian police, the military and other security agencies to timeshiously swing into action to track and apprehend criminals and bring them to book. This is just as the coordinator National Center for Counterterrorism, Major General Adamulaka, has urged the Nigerian media to use their medium of communications to promote mutual trust, build unity amongst Nigerians, and adequately counter the destructive ideologies and narratives of terrorist groups. Now, the Director General of the National Orientation Agency, Isa Lare Onilu, has alleged or revealed the new app at National Counterterrorism Center in Abuja on Wednesday during a meeting with the media. How do you see this app to tackle insecurity in Nigeria? Applauded. Handy. I'm All you have to do is have data. I'm telling you. But you, you need to have data. Yeah, yeah. You need, you need to have Nigerians have data. If it's, oh, oh we about, have data. Talking about it's just data. hunger that we... Our, 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 uh, 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 the hunger aspect didn't yes. affect that uh, oh, area wow. of data. Okay. Nigeria, Nigerians are not hungry So a hungry data. man will buy data. I'm telling you. Than buy food. Yes. Oh, my God. Nigerians have data. Nigerians, you, you have to respond to this. <laughs> I will give you a chance to respond. So you really tell me if this is true. Okay, go on. Yes. Um... This is quite commendable. You know, we have always talked about technology. Okay. Yes. And uh, hearing that our security uh, agency is now proactively diving into that, not just to, you know, narrate it or propose it, talk about it on paper. We are now doing something practical, something tangible. Is 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 a welcome development. Is a welcome development. Uh, but I also have, um, I also have my reservations? my reservations, and uh, uh, of course, you see the issue of uh, insecurity is a serious issue in Nigeria and in most developing countries. It's not just about the technologies too. Like someone once asked, if Nigerians does not have what it takes. Nigerian military does not have what it takes to track where Boko Haram, where they are operating from, and then crash the place and all of that. You know, we believe Nigerians have the technology. So at times, it's not only about technology, it's about the sincerity. It's about the commitment to what we are producing or what we have decided to do. I wouldn't be surprised if this should, if this tomorrow we'll begin to hear something else, begin to hear that it has been politicized, it has been hijacked, this has been done, and all of that. So, Nigerians, our government must go beyond the point of just providing the technology, but to responding swiftly, responding promptly to uh, 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 issues mm. emanating from that particular system. For instance, if there is a crime in a particular place, how prompt how equipped how, how will our security personnel be to respond Big question. to that particular issue and question. So that is the area I am also looking at. Because once Nigerians keep reporting, we are good at um, you know, uh, stuff, online applications. Nigerians are good. If we keep reporting, if we keep making, uh, dropping information there and then no response. no response, believe me, the reverse will be the case. The reverse. So, before launching of this particular app, I want to believe that the security agency have sat down and then looked at how they will respond to issues that will be dropped there. But this is going to be a lot. This is going to be so, so many people reporting at the same time. Correct. That's another... From different areas exactly. in the country. Exactly. I don't know how they want to set up that gadget. Probably... Maybe it's going to be state-based. Maybe they will have a state-based server. You know, those from a particular state can... Uh, all their information will be uh, channeled to that particular server. From there, they cannot transmit to wherever the central office is. Maybe that's the approach they use. Otherwise, uh, it will also... This, the issue of transmission, you know, getting information from different parts of the country at the same time. Yeah. 
will, will pose a serious uh, challenge. We, we hope that uh, more will be done concerning that. But, but what do you expect now? Yeah. As, as we, you've talked about the fact that they should be equipped, well-equipped and capable to handle whatever comes from that. Yes. Uh, what I expect is for Nigerians to leverage on this particular application to send message signals to security agencies on real time. Okay. We should leverage on it. We should stop complaining and doing some on other social media platform. Issue that has to do with insecurity in Nigeria should not be reported to that particular uh, uh, should be reported in that particular or via that particular app. And then the media too should help. Uh, the media should also also help to encourage our youth and then to also make due use of that particular uh, application. All right, let's look at this story now. The Director General of National Orientation Agency, Isa Lari Onilu, has revealed that, okay, this is still talking about the app. Let's look at the next story now. 